Garner Guitar, take your playing to the next level. Hey, this is Lane Garner for Garner Guitar. Um, today's lesson, we're going to talk about the content from my free ebook called Position Playing. Uh, you can get the ebook by signing up for my newsletter at garnerguitar.com slash newsletter. I'll put a link below this video. Um, so what we really talk about is uh, understanding positions in the scope of single string scales, first off. Um, being able to really know the notes and not just the uh, boxes and the shapes. Um, and then we're going to take those shapes and uh, connect them to arpeggios um, and some chord voicings in each position for major seven, dominant seven, and minor seven voicings. So um, if this stuff is above your level, go back to some of my other videos. Um, I have some beginner lessons out. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is familiarize ourselves with uh, major scales on each string going up and down instead of across. So uh, one of the first places I was introduced to this was in uh, Mick Goodrick's book, The Advancing Guitarist. He calls it the realm of the electric ice skating rink or something like that. Uh, it's a great book. Check it out if you haven't heard of it. Um, so if you already know your key centers, um, we're gonna start with the key of C major. So no sharps and no flats. Um, so we'll go up each string doing this. Um, so on the first string, we'll have E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Second string, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Third string, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The fourth string is D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. The fifth string, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then the sixth string will be the same as the first string, just two octaves lower. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So we'll start off by really just familiarizing yourself with the natural notes all over the, all over the guitar. Um, if you know anything about piano, that would be the white keys on the piano. Um, so we'll take that and start to try to improvise with it. Uh, we can take each degree of the scale, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, uh, and have that be the bass note uh, to practice different modes. So we would start off with uh, C major, uh, let's do C major seven. Um, so it can be helpful to maybe play a chord, uh, that's a pretty common voice for it, um, or even make a backing track. So we want to just play on one string. Try to come up with melodies. Um, you can play stepwise, or try to get in some skips, thirds are a little stretchy. So we could try fourths also, it's a little stretchier. Um, and then try to do this through each string, trying to hear that chord. Third string. slipped into some non-single string stuff there. Um, so do this through each string. Um, and then we can also try it from different modes. So for example, if we started uh, with D as the bass note, we have D minor seven uh, and get a Dorian sound with these same notes. So everything I played there, aside from the chords, was uh, just on the first string. Uh, go through all the strings and do this, um, and then try to start combining the strings. So play maybe just on the first and second string. Um, back to C major.
second and third string. Right, um, just trying to come up with melodies. They don't have to sound the best. Um, we're just doing static harmony. Again, we could go through all these different types of chords. We could do uh, an, un an unaltered G7 chord, maybe, for a mixolydian sound. Uh, let's do fourth and third strings, yeah. So we start to hear how the notes have a different kind of sound based on the chord that we're playing with. Um, okay, so get really, really used to C major because everything else is going to be based on this. We're going to alter the notes from C major. Um, so to do that, we would just go around the circle of fourths or fifths and uh, start adding sharps and flats. So first side on the circle of fourths is the key of F. So we're going to take all of our Bs on the guitar. Uh, right, um, and flat those Bs, so, right, um, and do the same thing. So now we're going to have an F major 7 chord. Let's say that common voicing again, root position drop 2 chord, uh, first string. Second string, B flat here, can't have an open string anymore, start to combine them. If you want to get crazy with it, we can also eventually start to combine uh, non-consecutive strings. We could play on the, say, the first string and the fourth string at the same time, key of F major. to come up with good melodies there we can kind of have a two voice thing so um, as we continue to do this and get through all of the keys uh, we start to really see the guitar in this way instead of just boxes going this way it's especially helpful if you have a background on another instrument um, really being able to understand this crazy thing that is the guitar um, so now we have to get into positions so I typically think of my positions uh, from the fifth string root. A lot of people will think of them from the sixth string. Uh, in the ebook, I present it both ways. So uh, whichever way you want to think about it, I think of the fifth string generally uh, just because it uh, gets rid of the redundancy of the first string and the sixth string having the same fingerings. And uh, you can kind of think of less material and then uh, just apply that same, those same notes over to the sixth string. Um, now, it is also beneficial to try to think of both ways. The more ways you can view a topic, the better uh, you can understand it. Um, any way you can look at it. Um, reminds me of cubism, sort of. It's like looking at the same thing from lots of different angles creates this crazy artistic Picasso masterpiece. All right, so the next thing we want to do, again, is look at our positions on the guitar. Um, we're gonna go back to the key of C major. Um, we're gonna start with what I call the uh, Ionian position with a fifth string root. Now you can apply all of these to the sixth string as well. Um, they're really the same fingerings, just coming from a different root. So. Uh, again, all of this material is in my ebook, uh, gardnerguitar.com slash newsletter to download it. Um, free download. That's our um, Ionian position. And we can start to see how it has these little pieces of the C major scale from our single string playing. Start to see how that's really put together instead of just being a geometric shape. Now we'll go through also for the next one, we go to the Dorian position. So starting on the fifth fret of the fifth string. We 
play out of that, it doesn't have to be a D minor 7 chord, it can still be a C major 7 chord. Right? So, um, we're gonna skip Phrygian and go right to Lydian. Um, because there's a half step there, it ends up being the same position. Um, and same thing with the, the first scale, the Ionian. It, we're skipping Locrian because it's the same position. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Lydian, like this. We kept going down. Back to that F. Again, we can play over our C major 7 chord. Okay, all right, so next one we get to, we go up to G, um, and we have a Mixolydian position. So here we go. So, same thing on the first string and the sixth string. Um, next one we're gonna get to is the Aeolian position. All sorts of stuff here and then we skip B we skip Locrian and we go right to back to the Ionian position so really there are only five positions you need to learn for each key um, and they're always going to go in that same order um, so for example for the key of F with a B flat in this third position instead of uh, instead of Ionian we're gonna go to Mixolydian B flat. Again, we're really just altering things from the C major scale to uh, start to see these other keys. Play that over an F chord. Or play it over a G minor chord. Ah, uh, I played melodic minor. Played an F sharp, uh, F natural. 